Today is May 8th, 2021. We're going to see if we can install a roof rack without uh, removing the trim up on the top because uh, when you remove that you just pretty much destroy all the clips and sometimes even the, uh, the trim. So we'll see how this works out. Got my helper here. You ready to go? Yeah, he's ready. All right, first things first. I went to the junkyard. I measured out where the uh, mounting locations are. There are three on each side. Um, I'll put some pictures up of exactly where they're at, but I already made some markings here. They're, they're kind of hard to tell. So first thing I'm going to do is get a screwdriver under there. Just lift it up just a little bit, just so I can see some light under there. So when I get my Dremel in there and cut it, when I start cutting with my Dremel, I won't cut into the bodywork. So I'm going to make an incision here, like this, and then another one right here. And then we should see the uh, rubber piece down there that um, holds the, uh, the mounting bolts. Okay, obviously I can't do both at the same time, so stand by. Okay, so this is the progress that I've made. I've cut out a little piece. Probably should cut a... I'm going to cut a little bit more. You could see the uh, the rubber piece right here. It starts right here. It's this little section right here. It, it, same color as the paint, but you'll see that if I get my knife right here in this area, so just kind of trim around it like that. Sorry, hard to do with one hand. There's one of the holes there. Okay, so I'm gonna cut back a little bit. I think I need to cut back to about right here. And then uh, I'll, I'll have this section out and then we can mount uh, something here. Um, I think I'm gonna use you in a strut. Okay, let me continue. Okay, so here's what it should look like, sort of. I butchered the first one. I'm going to need to be doing a little bit of touch-up right there. But um, there it is. I scraped away the little rubber piece from the top of the mountain holes. And um, I should be able to mount whatever I want to that now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get the other ones done. I only have five, five more to go. But the first one's always the hardest one. Okay, so as expected, the second one went much smoother. You can see the little seal there. Um, haven't punched the holes through, but uh, this one's a little bit cleaner. So, looking better. I'm gonna get onto the third one now, back here. I'll uh, post at the exact locations and measurements uh, as well in this video, probably towards the end. Bye. I just wanna show you something real quick when you pop this thing up a little bit you can actually it's kind of hard to see but there's a little indentation there where you see the lighter part right under here right in here starts here so this is where we're gonna start making a cut right here right there and kind of hard to see the other side but yeah right around here so that's where the cut goes from here to the other so you get this this section right here from here to here and that's uh that should be good enough i mean it doesn't have to be perfect uh, nobody's going to be up here but just like that then i start my dremel cut two cuts there so the last piece that is cut it's very close very close to the end here and uh as you can see i mean i had started making the cut there but when I when I finish this cut, it, the whole piece just came out. So I think I'm just gonna keep it like that and just make this piece bigger all the way over here. I mean, or you can cut that and stick that back in there and maybe glue that on so it doesn't fly out. Whichever, but either way will work. All right, so one side is done. And then you can't see the other. Okay, uh, one thing to, uh, just a quick tip, when you're uh, using this Dremel, uh, grab it with two hands, one on the back and then one on the front, 
just in case it binds it's not gonna whip and break the blade or nick at your paint job although my paint is not the greatest I'm still gonna I'm gonna probably repaint the roof anyways but um, you know and, and and do both ends I know I start from this side go this way and then I go across like that um, but there's one cut there done and uh, the only thing holding it together now is the little little piece of rubber or even if it's a little piece of metal I got these that I can cut or I've got also my uh, my tin snips over there too as well all right just quickly this is a quick uh, location of where these mountain pieces are so I start by butting up the uh, tape measure to this rear I don't know what this is a air duct spoiler thing anyways with that butted up against there you can see the first one starts at about uh, nine and a half like I said the indentations here but this piece is so small that it's all going to come out so I guess if you make your first cut at about uh, a little bit over a foot a foot and a quarter you're good and the second one is uh, right here so about 40 and three quarters to about 43 and a half more or less um, you don't need to know the exact location uh, because like I said if you get your screwdriver I know that uh, 78 here is right in the middle so if I get my screwdriver get under here and I lift it up just a little bit I could see it right there there's a little cutaway right there so then I just mark it Get my screw, mark it here, and then mark it on the other end. There, boom. My, make my cuts, and we're good to go. And like I was saying about cu cutting from indentation to indentation, you can see right here at this angle right here. There's this little cut right here. The little cutaway part of the, the, the mount for the trim and, uh, and then there's the other end and the rubber piece right here this rubber uh, it's like a factory install this is where the two mounting holes are right here right under here like I said you just with the knife or whatever just cut away that stuff and you're good to go all right guys quick little update uh, I went to the uh, local hardware store Picked up the Simpson Strong Ties. You see right there, they're Simpson Strong Tie 824. I'm going to use these as my brackets, and I just need to bend them just a little bit up an obtuse angle, not that much. This is all it takes. You can see the difference there. Okay, and, and I just do them real easily. Just putting them here on my vise. And then uh, just, just pulling up with my hand, or you can use a hammer or whatever. And just pull it up a little bit. Let me pause this real quick. There they are. Okay. Just, this is a new one I just made right now the angle of it. it it's very very low and when we go to the car so I still got I'm still gonna trim it a little bit still gonna trim it a little bit so that it doesn't stick out that much I'm gonna shorten it down but um if you can see if we go on this angle here uh, it's kind of hard to see but you can see it's, it's pretty much plum right there but I'm gonna trim it a little bit right here. Oh, that way uh, it doesn't stick out too much. All right, guys. Today's another day, and um, the brackets are are installed. You can see them right there. Yeah, this one's a little bit off. Might have to just tweak it just a little bit. But um, 
and then obviously I'm gonna paint them black. Here's uh, some of the hardware I got. I got the Unistrut. This is the, you can call it a 14 gauge, I think. This is not as deep as the other one. This is lighter, this will work. Miscellaneous nuts and bolts and hardware. Those um, brackets, L brackets, are gonna be used to uh, connect to the cross members. So I'm gonna mount, do some cutting, and then we'll see how it comes out. All right, folks, so the rack is pretty much done. Um, really like the way it came out. So I painted it. I know that the paint doesn't really stick to galvanized metal, but it, it looks fine. Um, it's very, very sturdy. So I can, I mean, I can grab it and, I mean, it'll, it'll shake the whole thing. This thing's not going anywhere. And all this stuff you can get at your local hardware store. Like I said, uh, these brackets, uh, the Simpson strong ties, these are used for holding houses together. So I'm, I know they're strong, the Unistrut, um, bolts, all the hardware, all the, uh, the, and that's that go inside of these rails everything and as you can see I'm, I'm gonna probably fill in a little bit uh, with some silicone and but um, you know the trim is still there I mean it's not in the best condition but it's there um, a couple of things to note <laughs> kind of might be kind of hard to tell from this angle but <clears throat> the trooper uh, roof is not straight it you could see it here it's got a slope so it slants downward so this bracket was at an angle obviously that's exaggerated you can't really you can probably see but I put a little spacer in there you can probably use washers so I put a little spacer just to bring this bracket a little bit more plumb um, but this thing is it was still sticking up way out here so I just pushed it down a little bit, put the bolt in. So it is kind of uh, spring-loaded, I guess, if you want to call it that. Um, that'll keep it from coming loose. I did have to drill another hole for that one back there. You would think with all these holes, they would line up, but that's the only one that really didn't line up. So, you know, it's drilled, cut. I had to cut the, 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 the brackets up here as well, but that hole right there for that, that was already there in the bracket, uh, and the, the hole on the bracket, so that's cool. So you just have to trim it here, then you gotta trim it down here. Um, it's also, the roof is also wider in the front than it is in the back, so this cross member is uh, almost an inch longer than the back one. But that's fine. This one I can, I can slide it back and forth. And this is this much, and then the, the the back one can slide pretty much all the way over there, which is which is more than enough. If I need to, uh, I can add another one. But I think with with two is good enough. Like I said, this thing is solid. I mean, you can see. I mean, I'm grabbing it. I'm shaking the whole truck. It's it's not it's not going anywhere. And if you do it this way. For a trooper at least you're guaranteed that you will not be resting on your roof it's pretty low profile which is cool it doesn't stick out too much now this is your base you can do whatever you want after this you can stick a basket on here and anything else so I don't know if I'm gonna either get some black end caps or just leave it like that I'm not sure but here it is relatively inexpensive easy with stuff you can buy at a Home Depot Lowe's any of your local hardware stores I think the total cost probably came out to uh, about one 160 180 under 200 bucks I think for everything so there you have it thank you